Hello there guys. So today we are going to be reviewing the Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Vintage Collection. Ever since I was a kid I've always collected the three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures. The first ones that I ever started to collect were from the Clone Wars series um, and I absolutely adored them and it's nice that they started to release more three and three quarter inch figures with some great articulation like back in those days. So I'm really excited to get into this. The box looks absolutely amazing. Got some gorgeous artwork of Darth Vader and Obi-Wan. I'm very excited to see the cracked Darth Vader helmet. That looks incredible. And then on the side, we have an absolutely amazing artwork. Actually, I think it's of the figure, not the artwork. And the face sculpting looks incredible. And then, of course, on the back as well, you've got some great, great looking figures. Really looking forward to unboxing them. So, let's get into it. I absolutely enjoyed the Kenobi series. I did find it a little bit annoying at times. Um, I think that the story could have been so much better with what they put out. However, I really enjoyed all the Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor parts of it. I thought that was really good. I really enjoyed how they um, interpreted the fights and everything else. I thought that was really, really well done. And I look forward to what else they put out. There we go. And as you can see, you have the card backs in really, really good condition with a little piece of paper in between each one so they don't get damaged so for you collectors out there who collect them in the boxes then this will be a really good way for them not to be damaged and they are also unpunched as well which is really really cool so this is the obi-wan kenobi beautiful absolutely beautiful artwork on the packaging and of course, you've got the unpunctured hole up here. And Obon Kenobi comes with a lit and unlit lightsaber, as well as his blaster, which is really cool. But yeah, this, this is absolutely amazing. Then on the back of the box, we've got a lot of legalese and the rest of the figures that come in the wave. And of course, the one that I am most excited for is this Darth Vader figure. And oh my God, he looks awesome. Look at that face sculpt. It just doesn't do it justice. And I also believe that the helmet is removable as well, which is just another huge, huge bonus to this amazing figure. And Darth Vader comes with two accessories, which is his lit and unlit lightsaber. The art on the box is really nice. I do wish that it kind of projected the figure as he is with the damaged helmet instead of just him as he is, but it's still a great looking box. And of course on the back, you got pretty much the same on the back as well. So let's get in to opening them. I think we're gonna do, I'm gonna do Obi-Wan Kenobi first, simply because I'm just so excited about this Darth Vader, I want to do him last. Now, there is a way that you can open up these figures without damaging the casing, because the casing, as you can see, is plastic that is glued around the cardboard. So, if you wanted to preserve the case, what you could do is cut around the bubble so it doesn't actually damage the box or you could heat it up, but then you might actually damage the cardboard. So, but because I'm not that fussed, I am just going to rip it open just like that.
and already he looks absolutely amazing you got to be really careful when getting the lightsabers and the blasters and stuff out because of the tape right here is his blaster and it does look really really good it is of a very very soft plastic which is nice i do like i do prefer the soft plastic blasters because it makes it easier for a figure to put their finger in it as like they're holding the blaster it is really 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 small though and quite fiddly to hold but it is a very nice looking blaster not too much um paint application it's just a your basic blaster there we go so this is obi-wan kenobi's hilt i'm gonna try and hold it maybe on the peg there you go so great de detailing great uh, yeah really really great detailing it looks absolutely amazing they have really gone above and beyond on the, the hilt that looks really really cool but it is absolutely tiny and is it just me or have all the um, lightsaber hilts been getting smaller and smaller and smaller every single time they release a figure each year because this is beyond tiny although i guess it's more accurate what do you think guys because I do remember the Clone Wars animated figures having quite thicker lightsabers when they first came out. So it might just be the timing. There we go. And this is his lit lightsaber. Great paint applications. Great sculpting. Absolutely awesome. I'll definitely, definitely have him displayed with his ignited lightsaber. Make sure I put all the stuff in one place so they don't get lost. And now for the Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. I am so happy that they've gone the route of more articulation uh, with the three and three quarter inch figures because they look absolutely incredible. The face sculpting is absolutely incredible. Look at that face sculpt of Ewan McGregor. It looks so good for the scale as well absolutely amazing robes he's got really great articulation he's got yeah he can go all the way up here you can do this you can do that he looks absolutely amazing there's just so much going on with this figure and he is just he's also so small as well which i absolutely love so i am really really loving these figures and of course he has his lightsaber hole for his hilt and the peg just kind of slots in there like so and his blaster will just slot in in place here that is the one thing that is really good about the black series is how it's just how big they are it makes them holding the blasters and putting them in the holsters so much easier that's the best we're going to get with obi-wan's blaster there it is in his pocket he does come with a trigger finger hand which is really good but of course i'm going to have obi-wan kenobi holding his blue lightsaber if he wants to hold it definitely have to give it a bit of a play around uh his hands are very very soft um or very soft plastic which is fine um i do prefer the hands to be a bit more of a harder plastic that way the fingers don't end up yeah as you can see just right then like i can literally pull that back so easily just keep in, keep that in mind because with these types of uh figures the fingers can come off and break quite easily, especially in blasters. It's definitely something I've seen over the last couple of years. His tunic, um, or the outer layer of his tunic here, the way it, where it overlaps, is really, really soft. So you can get him 
kind of holding the lightsaber with two hands. About a bit of a stretch. Oh, well, I'll probably have it him holding it with one. Okay, and that is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And he stands really well too, which is perfect. Put him over here in the bar. <laughs> okay, now we are on to none other than Darth Vader. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the Darth Vader with his cracked helmet in the Black Series. He, sell he basically sold out instantly. And it was such a shame. Once again, we're not going to keep the packaging, so we're just going to rip it open. Oh man, that face sculpt looks incredible. Right, let's get his blade out. I always like to try and get all the blades and blasters out by undoing the little piece of tape that they have on the lightsabers and blasters because that way it doesn't bend the mold as you're getting them out oh I've got to be really careful with some scissors and just cut it there we go okay so this is Darth Vader's lightsaber i believe it's the same one that he uses in a, a new hope which is really really good and also the attention to detailing on this lightsaber as well where he has the or he would have a cover tech on his lightsaber which would be on the hilt of his lightsaber instead of um down at the bottom which is also i i think that might be accurate i might be wrong if i'm wrong i'll correct myself in the video um, but yeah, absolutely amazing sculpting, and it just looks absolutely incredible. And then this is his ignited lightsaber. Great sculpting, great paint applications, looks very nice. It's your average Darth Vader lightsaber. And now for Darth Vader himself. And I have to admit, he looks very menacing with his torn up helmet. I would, do, I would even go to say he looks more menacing with his torn up helmet than he does in um, with his normal helmet on. Just look at that face sculpt. That is something else. And I believe the helmet is also removable, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So he's also got his chest plate right here that has got the slash, which is accurate to the show where Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of beat up his chest box. He's got a really nice cape. It is a bit of a heavier um, material, so it kind of does hang down really nicely. And it has got the little tear as well, which is also accurate, which is nice. He's got really good articulation and paint applications. He looks absolutely amazing. Got really nice articulation, which is good. And also he's got a trigger finger hand or a choking hand. That's quite interesting. Right, okay, now let's remove his helmet. And there is the face sculpt. And that face sculpt looks absolutely awesome. See if we can get it closer up. There we go. You can really see the amount of detailing they've put into this figure. It looks so good. That was all his scars and everything else. Absolutely incredible. And then the helmet. Looks absolutely awesome with the giant lightsaber slash. The paint applications look really, really good on it as well. 
and the way that it's got like multiple layers inside looks really really cool and it just kind of slides back on like that and it does clip in place which is really nice so it doesn't wobble around what I might try and do though is move his face up just a little bit there we go but yeah that looks really really cool and then of course he's got his lightsaber hole on his belt where we can ha have his lightsaber there and we're going to have Darth Vader holding his ignited lightsaber he's got incredible articulation but that face sculpt I don't think there's anything else like it oh that's interesting he might be a little bit more difficult to stand because he's he is quite a heavy three and three quarter inch action figure compared to Obi-Wan his cape is a little bit all over the place let me try and stand him up Oh, knocked over Obi-Wan by accident. Go with my standing over there for the moment. There we go. I got him standing. You gotta lean him forward just a little bit because he is quite a heavy action figure. Let me just fix up that cape. That looks good. So that is the Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And the height difference is quite a bit as well, which is very accurate to the show. Of course, Obi-Wan's going to be that bit smaller. And Darth Vader is just this towering, imposing Dark Lord. And he looks absolutely incredible. I definitely think out of the two of them, Darth Vader just hits on a different level for me. The Obi-Wan Kenobi is an absolutely great figure, but Darth Vader, the, the paint applications and everything just looks on that next level, in my opinion. And he is such an amazing figure to have in the collection now, so I am beyond happy to have him in the collection. And there you go, just a bit of a closer look at that Darth Vader figure. He looks absolutely incredible. And I am very happy to add him to the collection. And here is a closer look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. And he also looks absolutely incredible. Okay guys, that concludes my action figure review of the Vintage Collection Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Kenobi series. Great figures, great articulation, great paint applications, and I'm happy to have them in my collection. Thank you all guys for watching the video, and may the force be with you.